San Jose's favorite concert series. He's been going now for more than 30 years. And we love being here in Plaza de Cesar Chavez. But we know that we're part of history here, that this plaza, the oldest public plaza in Northern California, it was, it's been here 400 years as a public place where the people of San Jose have gathered. But we remember there was history that became before that. So tonight, we're gonna kick off Music in the Park by introducing the members of the Muwekwa Ohlone Tribe. The Muwekwa Ohlone Tribe representatives are here tonight to talk about their history, their heritage, and this land that we enjoy every day. So let me introduce, please, Julie Dominguez and members of the Muwekwa Ohlone Tribe. Thank you, Julie, for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Makemak mawekma wuwulam akoit makwarep mana makiswi horshetuhi kana kraka Julie Dominguez kana hini Dolores Sanchez. We are Muwek Maloni. Welcome to the lands where we are born. Hi, everyone. My name is Julie Dominguez. I come from the lineage of Dolores Sanchez, representing the Muwek Maloni tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area. Here today with me are our tribal members and youth. On behalf of our chairwoman, Charlene Nijme, and here to read our Mwikma Wubu Lamwaret Tashu, our Mwikma Ohlone Tribal Land Acknowledgement. We would like to recognize that while we come together for music in the park in the city of San Jose, we are gathered on the ethno-historic tribal territory of the Tami and Ohlone, San Francisco Bay Coast Sonoran dialect, speaking tribal groups of the greater Santa Clara Valley, which includes the lands of the Tamians, Alsans, Matalans, and the Paleños, whose tribal region was named after their powerful Chief Captain Pala and the two Mexican land grants located in East Hills above San Jose, and who were intermarried with the direct ancestors of some of the lineages enrolled in the Mwikmaloni tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area, whom were missionized into Mission Santa Clara, San Jose, and San Francisco. The present-day Mwikmaloni tribe with an enrolled Bureau of Indian Affairs, documented memberships of over 600 members, is comprised of all of the known surviving Indian lineages aboriginal to the San Francisco Bay region, who trace our tribe's ancestry through the Mishonikmas, Mission Santa Clara de Tamien, San Jose, and San Francisco, during the advent of the Hispano-European Empire into Alta California, beginning in AD 1769. Makmawikma Suyakma, our Mawikma families are the successors and living members of the sovereign, historic, previously federally recognized Verona Band of the Alameda County. And now we are formally recognized as the Mawikma Ohlone tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area. Mawikma means la gente, the people, in our native Chocheno Costanoan Ohlone language. The lands on which the city of San Jose has been established was and continues to be of great spiritual significance and historical importance for our Moic Maloney tribal people. This region extends to the surrounding areas that held several Tupentaks. Traditional semi-subterranean spiritual roundhouses, our Tupentaks were places of celebrations, healing, spiritual cleanses, rituals, dances, and inner tribal feasts, and our religious ceremonies, which were once located on the Lope Yinigo land grant, Rancho Polosimi, y Positas Las Animas, Little Wells of Souls, and also at Cristibal land grant, Rancho Uleshtak, as well as our historic 19th and 20th century, Alisol, Pleasanton, Nile, Sonor, Sonor, Livermore, and San Leandro, San Lorenzo, the Springs, Rancherias, as well as the nearby ancestral shell, shell mound sites that held many of our tribe's and ancestral monuments for our high limbs, families, cross specialists, and for our fallen warriors. This region in San Jose is also where many of our tribe's ancestral heritage, cemetery, and village sites are located, especially adjacent to freshwater corridors, such as Los Guaros, Los Guaros Creek and the Guadalupe River. These riparian corridors supported adjacent and nearby ancestral settlements and cemeteries and may have since been destroyed as a result of unbridled development. These localities to us are viewed as historic and significant places by our people. And it is acknowledged by scholars that these lands have been previously harvested and settled by our Mwikmaloni tribal groups for many thousands of years. 
Today, we, the Muik Maloney Tribal leadership as, and members, work as stewards addressing and protecting many of our up to 10,000-year-old ancestral heritage village sites, such as the old Holiday Inn site located downtown here along Tamien Rumai, the Guadalupe River, to the 9,900-year-old Metcalf Road site along Mayan Rumai, Coyote Creek, and Highway 101. This park today where we stand in Cesar Chavez in the city of San Jose is established within our ancestral Tamian dialect speaking tribal groups, which based upon the 18 unratified treaties of 1851 to 1852 includes the unceded federal land of the Muikma Ohlone tribe of the San Francisco Bay region. And some of those lineages in our Muikma Ohlone tribal groups are directly descended from ancestors aboriginal to the Tamian dialect speaking Ohlone tribal territory whose family had affiliations with Miss Santa Clara, the Tabian. And also some of those in Rick Mo Moekma lineages are descended from direct ancestors from neighboring Ohlone tribes who were intermarried with Santa Clara Clarendio, Mission San Francisco, and Mission San Jose Lisanigma Chocheno Indians. It is important though that we pause and we recognize the history of this Aboriginal land of our ancestral Tamian Ohlone, on which we gather to enjoy, learn, and honor, but also acknowledge that the first people of this region, our Muigma Ohlone people, are alive and thriving members of the San Jose and broader Bay Area communities today. And even though our tribe was denied a land base through the gross negligence of derelict BIA officials after our tribe was first federally recognized in 1906, it is because of the tenacity, tujeste, strength, and legacy of our ancestors and elders that Makmuikma, our people, are able to maintain our identity, traditions, and keep our culture and Maknono, our language, alive. Furthermore, Makmuikma Wubulam Suyakma, our Muwikma Indian families have never left our Aboriginal traditions or left our Aboriginal ancestral homelands of the Bay Area. And today we attempt to repair the sustained ecological, environmental, natural, and cultural devastation to our tribe wrought by over 251 years of colonial processes of disenfranchisement and marginalization through politics of erasure by elements of the dominant society. Nonetheless, we are focused on keeping our traditional culture through yesterday strong while we work for an ewe, bright and favorable future for Mak Shininikma generations as we follow in the footsteps of Mak, Chi, Mak, Mak Michishkush, our ancestors Mak Uni Tarashe. We respectfully request that the good citizens of the city of San Jose and surrounding towns strive to be faithful stewards on behalf of the Moekma Ohlone tribe by maintaining the bay freshwater creeks, native plants, animal habitats, and the air we all breathe. Furthermore, we request that the city of San Jose and surrounding towns within Santa Clara County honor the military service of the Moekma men and women who have honorably served overseas during World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, Iraq, and who are still serving in the United States Armed Forces today. And honor the tribal veterans and services, service members from California, North and South America who have served this country with dignity and honor. In closing, it is of great spiritual significance to acknowledge the special relationship of this Holshewade, beautiful land to the indigenous Moak Maloney tribe of this region, as well as to people residing in the Bay Area, respectfully request that everyone who lives, works, or visits the Sab Arena, the city of San Jose and surrounding towns, to be respectful of the of our Aboriginal lands, waterways, and natural habitats, and consistent with our principles of community diversity and inclusion, strive to be good stewards on behalf of the Moekma Ohlone tribe on whose Aboriginal lands you are our guests. Thank you, and on behalf of the Moekma Ohlone tribe, we hope you celebrate honor and stand in solidarity with all Muwekma's indigenous people with their struggles to reverse the adverse colonial legacies 
of effect, affecting of all people in color, San Jose, the greater Bay Area, California, the United States, and the Americas as we gather and reflect on the sacred lands of the Tami and Ohlone, the ancestors of the Moac Maloney tribe, a home. I just want to say thank you again to Dan Pacrano for inviting the tribe out. Um, and giving a safe space. And I know that this can sound like a lengthy land acknowledgement, but these are our words, and, um, and this comes from a good place for us to continue to represent our people now and our ancestors. And um, if you would like to stay connected and know more about the tribe, please visit moikma.org for more information. And we hope that you guys will all stay connected with us. Thank you so much for being here today and starting the season off in such a beautiful way. Thank you, thank you.